let's take a look at blocks for user interface. When you open the app, you see this welcome screen and from here we can open any of our recent projects, we can open any other project on our computer or we can create new ones. In addition to that, we have shortcuts to documentation, community and blog store. So let's open the recent project. If you have used Blocks 3 before, this user interface will be pretty familiar to you. We still have two sidebars. On the left we have the Layer Navigator, which allows us to move the content around, browse the sections we have built on our website, delete, duplicate and do other adjustments to our content. In the second tab on the left we have the Page Navigator. Inside here we can create new pages, we can reorder them, we can delete pages, access the settings of the page and if we want we can even duplicate them. Moving to the right side, here on top we have the breakpoint switcher which allows us to switch between the four breakpoints we have in blocks. Blocks 4 allows us to build a website for four breakpoints at once so you get beautiful websites on mobile, tablet and large displays. Here in the right sidebar we have the inspector which is the main tool we will be using to adjust the style of our elements and apply some special custom classes. We will be talking about this in detail when we come to this in a couple of videos. One change you might notice if you have used Blocks 3 before, we no longer have the drop mode enabled by default. We can enable it if we go to Blocks Preferences and here in the bottom area we have Enable Drop Mode. You can see it here now enabled and if you don't want that, you can disable it here in the Blocks Preferences. Let's take a look at Blocks Preferences. We have a few new options here, for example we can auto embed the project assets in new projects, very useful feature, but most importantly we now have the auto backup, which will allow you to enable the auto backing up of your projects every 3 to 60 minutes. I'm sure this feature will be very useful for many people. Here in the right sidebar we also have a couple of important shortcuts. We have the shortcut to class manager, which is very important for us of course, we will cover that in the classes video. We have the asset manager, which has all of the images we have imported into our website. We have the swatch manager or global swatches, which has all of the colors we are using for our website, as well as menu manager and notes. We will take a look at these windows a little bit later. Finally, here in the top right corner we have ability to zoom out or zoom in on our web pages. We have this button which allows us to switch to the preview mode where we can see how our website looks in real life. And we have a list of pages we have created. So in the next video we will take a look at project settings and page settings.